Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome to my YouTube channel IT Junction for All. In this video, I am going to discuss about scenario based interview question and answer part 8. First the input table. Employee table has four columns namely employee ID, employee name, salary and department ID. Now the problem statements. Write a SQL query to find all employees who earn more than the average salary in their corresponding department. So if we, if we go back to our main table that is employee table, here we have the salary column. Now in order to solve this problem statement, first we need to calculate the average salary. For average salary for each department ID. So once we have calculated the average salary for their corresponding depa department ID, we have to display only those employee name whose salary is greater than the average salary for that corresponding department ID. So now let's see how we can solve this problem in SQL Server. So we can solve this problem by many ways but first we'll see how we can solve this question using join. So first I'm going to select the employee ID, employee name, department ID and salary from the employee table and we'll save this result set for, uh, for the table A. Now the in the second step what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the average salary for each department ID. So we can get we can get this by writing select department ID average salary as average salary from employee table and I am grouping it by department ID. So this part will give the, the average salary for each department ID and we are going to store this temporary result set in the table B. So if you see in the table A we have full employee salary for each each employee so if i am going to join this table a and b on department id we'll get this result we'll get the average salary and the salary for each employee so you see the first employee has the average salary for the department id 1 and their corresponding salary now we have to display the employee name who has the salary greater than the average salary in their department ID. So if, in, if you see for this department ID, uh, we have uh, this uh, row number 3. John has 55,000 salary which is greater than the average salary. So we have to display this. So how, can, how we can do this? We can do this by providing the where clause where a dot salary is greater than b dot average salary. So if I run this full piece of code, we'll get our desired result. We can perform the similar SQL operation with using common table expression that is CTE. So we'll see with how we can do this using CTE. So here again in the first step, I am selecting employee ID, employee name, department ID salary from the employee table and I am uh, storing this temporary result set in the CTE employee table and in the second step I am taking the average salary for for each department ID and I am storing in the CT underscore average cell table and finally I am making an inner join between first table that is CTE employee table and CTE average cell table on department ID column and finally I am filtering it uh, on the basis of uh, if the salary is greater than the average salary. So if I run this piece of code again, we will get the same result what we got earlier. So there is one more method we can perform this similar operations that is using by subquery. So if you see here, I am, I am selecting employee name department ID from employee table where salary is greater than and inside that sub query I am selecting average select average salary from employee E2 where E1 dot department ID is equal to E2 dot department ID. 
So if I run this piece of code again, we'll get the same result. So there are three ways by which we can perform, uh, we can do this uh, uh, SQL operations to solve our problems. If you have liked my video, please please subscribe my channel and please like the video. Thank you and thanks for watching.